Hey guys, and welcome back to another Love It or Leave It. You guys seem to love watching these videos. I love filming these videos. It's our time to chat about some favorites of the month as well as some mini reviews and upcoming launches, except launches are a little slow right now, which honestly, a little bit thankful for. If you've been watching my videos for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's free. And now that I'm done with finals, I have a little more time to do some videos right now, so it'll be a good time. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the Love It or Leave It videos. And before we start the video, my top is from Camo Fitness and I just know, even though I said this within like the first minute of the video, there will be someone in the comments asking me what I'm wearing. Camo Fitness, I will also link it down below. Don't forget it. And without further ado, let's start off with the mini reviews. The first mini review we have is the Buff Bunny Blizzard Zip Up Bra. I've gotten a lot of questions about this one because it did launch after the Frozen launch. So I've had it for like a week at this point. And because it was supposed to be on sale during the Frozen launch, they actually honored the sale. I don't know by the time this video is going up if it's still going to be 10% off. I think it was 10% off, but either way, we got it. I got white and then I believe this is frost. This is the lightest blue color. So you guys have been wanting to know about this one because it looks to be a pretty high support bra and there are definitely some pros and cons. First of all, I got this in white and blue and I got the white in an extra small and the blue in a small. And when they sent me an extra small, I was like, what am I gonna do with an extra small? Like I'm not gonna be able to fit into it, but actually the extra small fits better. You'll see in the try-ons, but the extra small is perfectly snug and it's definitely not too tight and just like fits really well all around. And the front Frost is just like definitely a little big. The straps are a little bit loose. And sometimes when you have the zip up bras, if it's too big, it can kind of like create like a little folding in like the middle of the zipper area. And that's definitely happening. And I just have a little extra room around like the little strap areas too, not necessarily the length, but just like a little bit of gaping. So I actually sized down in this bra. Usually I'm a solid small in all buff bunny bras. I have worn an extra small in some of their bras before, but this one definitely runs a little bit on the big side. I would mostly say size down if in between between, but if you've been finding Buff Bunny bras like a teeny bit big for you, maybe just size down in this one. But if you're unsure, I'll go through normal size because better safe than sorry. First of all, the bra does completely open and then it also zips up, but sometimes it's hard to just like straight up zipper a bra. So it actually has one of these little, um, little hook and eyes where you can clasp it in the middle so it makes it easier to zip up. There is a protective layer of fabric behind the zipper so the zipper doesn't lie directly on your skin. Some zip up sports bras have a little flap that goes over the zipper on both both ends to kind of protect the edges of the zipper. This one does not have that. I did wear it to the gym and it didn't cause any irritation. Uh, I think I have a Tell You Collapse bra that is also a zip up, but it doesn't have any sort of protection and that one definitely irritated me. This one didn't, but if you like the ones that have like the little flap, this is probably not the one for you. It's a beautiful square neckline and it's great coverage, like definitely a full coverage sports bra, no side boob and definitely covers all the cleavage as well. Even in the extra small, the straps just do feel like a teeny bit long for some reason. I don't know what it is. I usually don't have that issue with sports bras. They do have removable cups, little entrances on the top here. And the back has a cute little strappy detail. I would definitely call this a high support sports bra. Definitely high support plus high coverage. Is it the highest support sports bra I've ever tried? No. Is my favorite Buff Bunny high support sports bra? Probably also no. The canceled sports bra from the Rebel launch was definitely a high support as well. And I just kind of like that one, how it fit me a little bit better for some reason. It's just like the straps on this one. People were concerned with this side cutout. If you'd get like little like back fat leakage. When I was wearing it, the cutout honestly kind of closes. You don't even like see it when it's on. You can kind of pull it to be open, but it's such a small little hole that you don't really have like a lot of like fat getting out of it because it's just so small. So even if you do have a higher body fat percentage, I wouldn't necessarily be concerned with the cutout. Also with the cutout, I feel like it was a little unnecessary just because it is so small. When I wear it, like you almost don't see it. So it almost looks like kind of weird that it's even there. I don't know. I could have done without the cutout. They're also made of the Perform fabric, which is the same material as the Outlaw leggings. And it's a sleek performance swat wigging material. Next mini review, we have the Stealth Camo leggings from Petula. This is my first time trying the Stealth Camo. I've seen it on their website so many times but for some reason like the fabric on the website it looks like it's going to be like kind of like stiff and rough and it is not stiff or rough this is so incredibly soft and has so much stretch to it but is also like amazingly compressive and thick like this fabric is like such a winner for me i wore these to the gym and i'm like 90 percent sure for the first time ever i wore a pair of leggings backwards because they have a tag on either side of the leggings i'm like which one is the front like to me this little guy should be the front but i actually think that this white tag 
tag is the front, which is very strange, but you honestly can't really tell which is the back because the logo placement doesn't really help you and they look the same. So I definitely wore these backwards, but I still liked them. They're solid medium to high compression, but they still have a ton of stretch to them. These would be amazing for leg day because this fabric is super thick and it's also really durable as well. Like you can use bands on this and it should not have any problem pilling. I did these on a pole day and on my pole day, I wear my lifting gloves that have Velcro and it definitely like rubbed over them a couple times and I can't even see where that happens. So these are super durable. The waistband is double thickness and it just snatches you so well because the waistband is also super high. Like this is a true high rise. Not messing with any medium rise here. It's a true high rise. I love it without even having to pull it up. It's a high rise. There is a front seam. I didn't have any problems with it though. I'd say medium, medium to high on the booty scale. It's not really doing anything bad, but I don't feel like it's truly like enhancing a whole lot. But it's fine with me. The camo print is really subtle and I would also call these cellulite proof because not only are they thick and compressive, but they have a little pattern, they have a little texture. Peach, how you doing? Peach, say hi, it's been so long since you've been on the camera and you're so pretty, everyone wants to see you. Yeah. Probably decent with sweat as well, just because of the like little pattern. Extended crotch gusset. And my only thing with Petula is that they make so many 23 inch leggings. And I hate 23 inch leggings. 25, 26 inch, that's technically like seven eighths length. I can kind of make it look almost a full length on me, even though I'm tall, like I can make it work. But 23 inch is like honestly kind of between seven eighths and like Capri length on me and I hate capris. These really weren't that bad in terms of length, but I just wish they would make a couple longer ones. You know, maybe they did make them in a longer length and I just didn't get them. But for my short girls, Petula is honestly great for you guys because it's 23 inch inseams, they're for you. I also got the Stealth Camo Sports Bra. I don't know if that's the actual name. I'll put the actual name on the screen. I got this in a size small and I just find Petula Sports Bras to not have a ton of coverage or just run a little bit small. So I was kind of falling out of this one. It didn't really pass the run or shimmy test because I definitely would have to like fix myself back into the bra in order to like, you know, ensure I'm not going to lose anyone. So I would definitely recommend this for smaller cup sizes. I would definitely recommend either sizing up or just don't go for this if you have a large your cup size. It's kind of a bummer because if it had a little bit more coverage, it actually would be pretty supportive because this fabric is so thick and compressive. Has a nice thick band at the bottom, a little scooped neckline. It does have removable cut pads with the little seams so they don't like, you know, get all wonky everywhere. And then they have the little shiny like Petula logo. I think the Petula logo is supposed to be something, but I always forget what it is. If you know what it's supposed to be, comment down below. I also got a couple of new things from CLS Sportswear. If you don't know about CLS, they're kind of famous for their booty scrunch leggings. They're probably like the highest quality booty scrunch leggings that I've seen in my act review a while ago, I compared this scrunch to the X scrunch and like the X scrunch just honestly looked like really cheap and bad. This one definitely looks a lot nicer. This is definitely my favorite of the leggings that I got. We've got kind of like a sock legging and I love a nice like army green legging. So they have a nice wrap waist and the waistband on the wrap waist part is actually pretty thick. I just reviewed the Alphalete Surface Path wrapped leggings and they just like really were more of a mid rise on me. Honestly, I felt like their little wrap section was so short. It looked a little bit silly. This length of a waistband is much more preferred to me. I feel like it looks really flattering. It still kind of dips down in the front though and has that nice wrap detail. If you like wrap leggings, these are really nice. The fabric isn't brushed. It kind of feels like the Lululemon Luan. The waistband also dips down slightly in the front to give a little extra lower tummy control. I love that their waistbands do that. No front seam on these. They do have a scrunch in the back, definitely high on the booty scale. I wish I had gotten more of like the medium scrunch instead of like the intense scrunch because while I think that the scrunch leggings look really nice, sometimes I just don't like wearing scrunch leggings to the gym because it's one of the few women in the gym already. I feel like everyone's staring at me and I feel like people are staring at me even more when I wear these, which like, I know it should be like, oh, whatever. Like they're going to stare, they're going to stare, but some, something about a booty scrunch. It gets, it's a little much sometimes for me personally. If I see people wearing booty scrunches in the gym, I'm like, you go girl. And then the bottom part of the legging is actually like this nice little mesh, super stretchy. And then you just have like the little sock detail, but yeah, that's these. Then we have a little one shoulder situation. To be quite honest, I'm not sure which one is front and which one is back here. So I tried it on both ways for you guys because this way I could see this being the front because it's kind of like plain, but then like the logo is like huge in the front. Sometimes I wish their logo was like a little bit smaller. This is just a little big for me. And then this could also be the front, but then you have this little slit, which sometimes can get a little close to the nips. So like, it's a little dangerous. And to make it worse, it doesn't have cup pads. So I can't see which side has the cup pads. So I know which way is the front. So apparently it's just both ways. Anyways, I think the one shoulder sports dress are cute as a concept, but honestly, they just don't do it for me. In my try on for this, I just felt it sliding down a little bit at the side and that would just like freak me out at the gym. So personally, they're not my favorite. It's probably a light support. It does have more coverage than some one shoulder sports bras. Like the set active one shoulder sports bra I tried was like, couldn't even fit half of it. 
This one definitely has more space, but still it's not entirely my thing. Then super quickly, we have some biker shorts. These were actually really nice and didn't squish down my thighs at all. They have the same wrap waist as the green leggings, no front seam. They have these little side pockets made of the same mesh as the bottom of like the green sock leggings. And then my only thing with these is that all the seams and the scrunch just are a little too busy on the back. So I'm not a huge fan of like how this looks in the back area. From the front it's okay, but I probably won't wear them a whole lot just because the back is a lot for me. Then we have these red leggings and the waistband on these is so nice. It's also a super high, like true high waist and it comes down a lot in the front for lower tummy control. It's still flattering on the back. These also have a scrunch and I will say when you squat, you definitely like feel the scrunch like a little more than I'd like to. If you've ever had a booty scrunch legging, when you squat, they can be quite invasive. I would have preferred this one without the scrunch, but actually even with the scrunch, I didn't get any camel in the front, which was pretty nice. Made of the same material as the sock leggings. So it's not brushed, kind of like Lululemon Luan. Again, logo is quite big in the back. These are about a medium, medium to high compression. Their fabric is actually pretty thick and compressive, potentially cellulite friendly, not cellulite proof. The nice thing about CLS is that they also offer custom leggings. So you can kind of choose like the color that you want, the style of waistband that you want. And then they have four different levels of scrunch. So you can kind of choose like how much you want. So I thought that was pretty nice. I also tend to avoid wearing scrunch leggings on leg day because it just like, and then to go with that one, we have this bra, which is far too deep of a V for me. Like I 100% would fall out of this at the gym, like no doubt. It's also interesting to me that none of their bras have cut pads. This one doesn't have cut pads, nor does it even have a space for cut pads. So interesting. So I'm not in love with the front of this one, but I do love the back. So if you're okay with a lot of cleavage, the back of this one is so pretty. It's like an entirely open back, great for seeing your back gains. Backs are just so cool to me, like all the little muscles. I just love them. Yeah, super open in the back, but it's just a little too boobalicious for me. Now onto the next part of the video, my most worn pieces of the month and some little updates on what has lasted and what hasn't lasted. Honestly, don't have a ton for this month because I was either trying a lot of new stuff or I just haven't gotten to the gym all that much because I was in finals. A lot of you guys have noticed that I keep wearing the same sweatpants in like every single one of my videos. Because while I do love leggings, I cannot stand being in leggings at home because my legs need space. They need like, they need to be free and leggings are just, they're too tight for home. And the joggers that I wear all the time are the Buff Bunny Un tamed joggers. I will say I do wear these all the time, but I have a couple problems with them. So I do wear these like probably at least once a day, if not every other day. And I will say they're a solid pair of sweatpants, but they're really expensive. And I don't know why they're so expensive for just like a fleece sweatpant. So while I like these, I don't necessarily recommend them so much because they're like $60. Like these are more expensive than the Buff Bunny Jasmine joggers, which definitely feel like a nicer quality jogger to me. Not that these aren't nice, but these are kind of remind me of like champion sweatpants, which are also comfy, but you know what I mean? So I don't know, since I've been living in sweatpants lately, I'm still on the hunt for some more, so stay tuned. But they have a nice elastic waist. I do have a size small in these, which sometimes it's a little tight on the leg, but also I also got a size medium and the waist is just like huge on the medium. So I kind of prefer the small. They do have a drawstring waist, but it's on the inside of the sweatpants, so you can't see it on the outside. They do have two little pockets that also have little ankle cuff. Another thing about these, since I've worn them so much, they've definitely pilled between the legs, which is something I've had happen to like every sweatpant I've ever had. So I wouldn't say this is like unique, but I thought, thought I would share. I think you can see some of the little little pill guys. I don't wear these out of the house a lot. I do sometimes. I also think I'm getting a deep pillar for Christmas. So I will take care of that. Maybe I'll update you guys how that goes. We have mostly outerwear for this episode of Love It or Leave It. So my most worn favorite jacket, I've been wearing this on walks, I've been wearing it to the gym, is my lovely Queenie Key jacket. This is from Amazon. I've had it for literally two years. It's still in great shape. It's a dupe for the Lululemon Define jacket. This one's around $40. The Lululemon Define jacket is like 150. So this is a great deal. I have a size medium since I don't like my jackets to be like skin tight. But what I love about this one is not only does it have a full zipper, but it has zip pockets. And I love zip pockets because I feel super secure here and I don't feel bad about putting my keys in there because I know they're not gonna fall out. They're gonna stay in there. They also have a little mesh vent in the back so you don't get too hot. My absolute favorite thing about these and why I love to wear them on walks is because they have thumb holes. They not only have thumb holes, but they also have hand pockets and there's nothing like your hands being freezing when you're walking because I don't know about you guys, but my fingers and my toes are always like the first part of me to get cold or like go numb. I love little hand pockets for my walks and on the way to the gym, sometimes I drive with the hand pockets on because my hands are cold and my steering wheel 
I love this jacket. It's been with me for two years now. Kind of the last thing I have been loving this month, which is not a piece of clothing. I don't usually mention like supplements or anything, but it is peppermint bark season and I couldn't not mention my favorite peppermint bark bars. If you've ever tried the first form level one bars, they are like literally something else. They have like a cookie texture and they're like covered in like chocolate and they're so good and by far my favorite flavor of all year round. Better than the pumpkin spice bars even are the peppermint bark bars. It's like a sugar cookie inside like wrapped with like a dark chocolate with like these little like peppermint little crunchies and they're just so I hope they're still in stock by the time I publish this video. If they're not, my other favorite flavors are the birthday cake, which has been sold out for so long. And I'm so upset because I love them. The pumpkin spice is also really good and the peanut butter chocolate pretzel. But if you can get your hands on these, they're truly life-changing. I'm not gonna tell you like, oh, these taste exactly like a cookie because obviously like it is a protein bar. It is seriously super close, like with the texture and the flavor. I'm gonna link these down below. They're so good. I have to hide them from Ian or else he will eat every single one of them before I get a chance to. As for upcoming launches of the month, honestly, I'm not really sure of anything at this point. I feel like January is about due for a Buff Bunny Alpha Elite balance situation type thing. I feel like we're gonna see some stuff from them this month, but honestly, who knows? I don't know anything yet. I'm having a good time with not having a lot of launches. So if you made it this far, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this love it or leave it. If you have any feedback for any of my videos, please let me know in the comments down below. Lately, I feel like I've been needing more of a precise way to do my squat test because sometimes I feel like it's a little subjective. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think it'd be helpful to have like eight to 10 is like safe for leg day, like six to 10 is like questionable and then like five and below is like no. Would that be something that's helpful to include in the videos? Any other suggestions? leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!